Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is my pleasure to present to you the most quickly rescued plane crash victims in the last 30 years. Hank and Mitch Robinson, let's welcome them out here. Thank you so much for your good wishes during this time. Now, though we were only on the island for 15 minutes, it felt like an eternity. Uh, yes, please walk us through your time on the island. Yeah, oh, sure. I can take that one. Uh, we were en route from Florida to the Dominican Republic when our engine failed. When the plane began to fall, we bailed, pulled our parachutes, and steered towards the nearest island. And I think Mitch can take it from there. Mitch? Sure. Okay, so we landed on the island. We waited for 10 minutes. The helicopter found us, and we were flown right here. Oh, aren't you forgetting? No, that was Mitch it. drank pee! <gasps> <laughs> Mitch! Care to comment? Well, I will not deny having imbibed my own urine. I will say it was merely my survival instincts kicking in, and that should not be the focus of this press conference. Um, all right, so what else happened? Okay, okay, so we hit the ground. We gathered whatever we had, right? And what did you wind up gathering? Nothing, really, just whatever we parachuted in. Yeah, but Mitch was really thirsty. Then we built a fire. Yeah, but Mitch got really parched. And then we got rescued. About a minute after he quenched the thirst. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yes, what can I answer for you? Uh, yes, uh, can you describe the flavor of the pea? Are there any other questions? Yes, you. Yeah, I had a question, but I'm also wondering how your pea tasted. Yeah. Come on. Uh, he gagged a little at first, but he didn't spill a drop. Oh, wow. I, I got the sense it was an acquired taste. Hmm. Like red wine? Uh, that would be my best guess, but that's really more of a Mitch question. Mitch? Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a huge difference between surviving on urine and drinking wine. Oh, uh, yeah, for starters, you don't gulp red wine like a camel at an oasis. Oh, my. <laughs> well, that is scary. Uh, Mitch? Yes? Does your wife know that you drink pee? No, I... I don't drink pee, all right? I... I drank. I thought I was going to dehydrate. Uh, he didn't even look for water. He went straight for the urine? Like a moth to life. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> uh, Mitch, uh, did you drink pee before the trip? No! I think the readers would like to know what it tastes like. And they should drink it! Does this mean that you're coming out as an endorser of Europhasia? That's pee drinking. Shut <laughs> up! No, I'm not here to endorse anything, all right? I was asked to talk about how I survived a plane crash. Okay. Well, well, were there any cups or thermoses that survived the crash? Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I mean, what did you put the pee in to drink it? Okay, I'm not going to yeah, go He peed straight into his mouth. Oh. Shut up! Oh, I offered to get him a shell. He said he couldn't wait. Oh, I wow. was thirsty! Yeah, he didn't. Like a, like a duck to water. Oh, my. Have you always been a pee monger? If I pee, will you chug it? And you're making me out to be some sort of sick weirdo! How did it taste? Salty! It tasted salty and warm, but not terrible. Oh, oh that's oh, disgusting. Jesus, that's oh, right. Yes. That, that's... Mm, no. All right, so about that crash landing... How Folks, I, I'm I was afraid gonna... this is all the time we have for no. this sick weirdo. No. Uh, if you want to find out anything more about the crash, you can read Hank's upcoming book, Marooned, my 15 minutes with the Piss Family Robinson. <laughs> <laughs>